it is Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. I'm Chris Remond. Welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Wednesday crossword, which means we're going to be solving a midweek mid-difficulty crossword. I hope it's on the gentler side of midweek difficulty, because as it turns out, I'm uh, running very low on time today. So this, is, this won't be a, a speed solve um, per se, but I am going to try and solve it more quickly than I might ordinarily a Wednesday. So we'll see how that goes. In any case, this um, potentially slightly quicker edition of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by Adam and Annette Noble, Noah Bizanson, Mitchell Turek, and as always, the indomitable Shulmaster. So thank you so much to the four of them. They're, of course, benefactors of The Daily Solve Patreon campaign, which means they support this channel. They keep it going with their contributions. I'm very grateful to them for that support. It really does sustain this series. Thanks to those four. Thanks to everybody who's a patron. You can become a patron yourself at patreon.com slash daily solve or via the description field link. You'll find, of course, all of the bonus videos and for patrons, the official mug. So uh, I'm just going to get right on to the solve. This is a construction by Joseph Gangi, who's constructed a small handful of puzzles for the New York Times. It was edited once again by Joel Faliano. It's a Wednesday puzzle, so it will have a, a theme. We'll find out what it is, and let's start solving. All right, look at that. We have a single circle there. That's interesting. Anyway, groups of plants. Um, is this a taxonomic phrase? I'm not sure what this is. Try to fly, to leap, to... Oh, boy. Not off to a good start. Mental blank, mental block, mental health, mental math, maybe? That's four letters. Hurt, yes, mental math, hurt badly is maim. There we go. Farmland measure, an acre is a measure of farmland, commonly. And they may take the stand. They may take the stand. I'm not sure what that's looking for. Flotsam and jetsam. These are sort of bits of debris, um, you know, at sea, in the ocean. Or trash, I guess, would be a straightforward enough way to refer to that. Okay, egg producer, hen lays eggs, straightforwardly. And cry after a poke, I can't see, maybe, if you poke someone in the eye? I don't know if that's, <laughs> I don't know if that's what that is, but it's, it's, it is something I could imagine someone crying if they were poked. So let's try it. They may take the stand. I don't know why I can't see what this is. Oh, accusers. In court, an accuser would take the stand to levy their accusation. All right. Keep blank on. Watch closely. Keep tabs on somebody. Over. Um, I don't know. As to... No. No. Stackable snack. Oh, it could be the official snack cookie of the New York Times crossword, the Oreo. Um, an old standby. It could well be that. Let's look at the crosses and see. Escape vessel. A, a pod, pod, an escape pod. That's what it is. Profound. Something profound is deep. It could be either, I suppose, literal or metaphorical depth. Uh, we blank errant knaves all. We are errant knaves all. Hamlet, I assume that is the case. Potluck staple. Pasta salad. So potluck is a, you know, me, a sort of shared meal in which people bring individual dishes. So perhaps pasta salad is a standby of that. Old Testament queendom. Oh, the queen of Sheba is a, um, a biblical character. So there we go. Course, that's a breeze. An, oh, an easy A. It's a course in which it's easy to achieve. An A grade. Valuable property. Oh, an asset. An asset is something that you that's positive on your balance sheet. It's it has value, positive value. Mournful poem, an elegy would be to mourn uh, the dead. And if something takes a toll on you, it tests you maybe or tries you. Tries doesn't look good because of that this cross styled after. Yes, yeah, style after is Allah, so in the style of or to the from the French. So then takes a toll on is, uh, well, it's not, it's not either of the things that I thought. Pro wrestler blank Luger. No idea, but it could be Len or Lou or Leo. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Spot to park. A car. Spot to park. Uh, and this is being referenced by this clue. 
bottom floor of a 46 across, perhaps. Is this not Elegy? What is this one? Dryers on the East Coast. So this is an ice cream brand. Edie's is an ice cream brand, so they might be the same. I think they are. I think I've encountered that before. Okay, so it takes a toll on. Don't know why I can't see what that is. Uh, swap out. To swap something out would be to re-something. Oh, garage. It's garage. It's not car anything. It's garage. That was incredibly straightforward. Sorry, sorry about that. So something takes a toll on you. It taxes you. So Lex Luger would be the wrestler. And that was not a name that occurred to me. All right. Relay race parts. You could have several legs of a race, a relay race in this case. Um, I guess the each leg is the bit after which you pass on the baton. And then some Google search results are URLs, their website addresses, mastodon features. So mastodons, you know, animals with, you know, big animals with tusks. Um, had a meal, if one had a meal, one ate. And H to Homer. So in this case, um, we're referring, we're, we're using Homer to refer to the Greek language and the Greek alphabet. So is it eta? Is eta equivalent H? I believe so. Cool 90s style. Um, 90s slang would be the word fat, I would think, with PH for the F. Skater Cohen. I do not know the answer to that. Uh, ending in A, it could be Erica. I don't know. I can't really think of very many possibilities. Beth Proceder. Aleph. Is this referring to Hebrew letters? Let's try that and see if that works with this. Oh. Uh, cave dweller of Greek myth. That's Polyphemus. That's so funny. I saw this and I looked and I thought Polyphemus before I read the clue. And then I was surprised to find it actually was. So this is the, um, the Cyclops from uh, the Odyssey who Odysseus encounters and blinds. Um, okay. It's not Erica. I don't know what it is. Uh, corrects as keystrokes. Keystrokes and um, retypes. Watermelon shape would be an oval, um, or rather watermelon shaped would be oval shaped, I guess. Noted brand from Denmark. Lego is a notable brand from Denmark. One tries to fly, to try to fly, oh, to flap your wings. So groups of plants, so floras, as in flora and fauna, so flora, plant, you know, local plant life. And then bottom floor of a 46 across, perhaps, which is a garage level A, I suppose. Oh, Sasha Cohen, okay. Um, and then banded gemstones are agates. So I think that was in the crossword yesterday or the day before, Monday maybe. Just could be mirror, sort of a, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mirror traveler. I'm just a traveler. I don't know. Could be. Oft contracted address. Oh, it could be madam, which is often contracted to ma'am, M-A apostrophe A-M. So this probably is mirror. And then Prospector's Locale of the late 1800s. Hmm. I'm not sure. Is it a city? I'm not sure what this is. Put on. To put on clothing is to don it. Journey such as the one where 20 across appears. Oh, an, oh well, yes, it's, <laughs> it's the Odyssey, which is an example of an Odyssey. So there we have it. Uh, and that, that, is, that, of course, was referring to the character Polyphemus. All right, copy. Um, not sure. Oh, to ape somebody is to copy them. Chess castle, so the, the piece known as the castle is the rook in chess. And then to enter a busy freeway is, oh, to merge, you know, onto a, onto a highway, a motorway, to merge with the other traffic. And then to eschew the pews, say, would be to elope, so to get married not in a church to get married. Well, you can get married not in a church without eloping, but in this particular case, you're eloping by eschewing the pews. And then performed some weekend tasks would be ran errands. There we go. Land separated at the 38th parallel. Korea, famously, is uh, separated into North and South Korea at the 38th parallel. Uh, trouble is ado. It's a whole trouble. It's a whole ado. Oh, Alaska, of course. Prospectors look at it. it. wasn't a city. It was a state. Of course, Alaska, the site of a, of a gold rush. Okay. So, pst, hey, you there, maybe. 
and Navy vessel letters. Well, it's not, oh, USS, United States ship, I believe is what that is. And then egg, I'm not sure about that one, actually. To bash for laughs is to roast somebody, to um, sort of insult them ultimately in a good-natured context. And then quest for some athletes is the gold in the Olympics, for instance, or other competitions, I suppose. Face-to-face as an exam would be an oral exam. And if one doesn't have enough, one owes money, your short money. And to go on and on would be to rant. If one took the long way home, say, you could say you wandered. And something unadulterated is pure. Well put, you might say. I'm not sure. I don't think we looked at all of these. DC's B and A abbreviations, streets. Right, so I've not spent much time in Washington, DC, but I do know that it has a street grid system with uh, lettered streets, A, B, C, etc. Coda, E-G, is an end as in a piece of music, but can be used in other contexts as well. Lead regulator for short, not lead regulator, as my brain first wanted me to say, but the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, um, regulates lead levels and water and things, I would think. So 72 across, well put, I see, it's amen to agree with something that's been said. And to play as a ukulele would be to strum it as a string instrument that is generally strummed. 20 across by another name, the Cyclops, right? Okay, so, oh, <laughs> I don't know why. It took me so long to realize what was going on. This is a single circled eye. So Polyphemus, the Cyclops, um, I mean, I think I mentioned he was a Cyclops earlier, but I didn't connect that to this circled eye. He has a single eye, which Odysseus um, put out. Uh, in the Odyssey. Okay, well, there we go. All right. Egg, oh, egg sack. Okay, there we go. So an anatomical phrase. And then pronto could be ASAP, as soon as possible, do it quickly. Um, Food products wholesaler. Oh, Cisco? You sometimes see um, delivery trucks labeled Cisco. And I think they, I think maybe they sell to restaurants or catering companies and things like that. I'm not exactly sure, but I have seen their their logo. Um, follow as a lead to act on a lead, I guess, maybe. I'm not sure that's right. Let's check the crosses. How Jenga blocks are placed, hopefully. Sturdily? So Jenga is the game in which you um, pull blocks out of a precariously balanced tower and try to prevent it from collapsing. I don't know exactly what we're looking for here. Rap for a monarch. Hmm. Feature of 20 across and when sounded out, a feature of today's puzzle, clues and all. Okay, one eye. So there we go. Oh, a feature of today's puzzle, clues and all. Does that mean there's only a single eye in today's clues? Oh my goodness, I don't see any clues here. Or sorry, any eyes in the clues. No, that's amazing. Oh, wow. Well done. Okay. Uh, I'm glad I noticed. This is the sort of thing I sometimes don't actually even observe during the solve. Um, am I even going to be able to find the eye? Oh, maybe there are no eyes in any of the clues. There's only one eye in the entire puzzle, and it's right here. I think that's what that must mean. Let me know if I'm if I'm misunderstanding that. I think that's what that means. Um, there isn't an eye anywhere. I mean, I suppose if you include the constructor's name and the edited by Joel Faliano, but we're not counting that. We're only counting the content of the puzzle itself. Anyway, swap out, replace, of course. There we go. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. So how Jenga blocks are placed, hopefully. Still can't. Oh, stacked now. Orchestra part. An oboe would be one part in music written for the orchestra. Um, oh, stably, I suppose, is how the jangle blocks are hopefully placed. And then a sneaky maneuver would be a ploy, a sort of ruse or a trick. And then Auld Lang Syne is the song associated with New Year's Eve um, lyrics attributed to Rabbi Burns. And rap for a monarch. Oh, a monarch butterfly. Cocoon. There we go. So there we have it. That was the Wednesday crossword. Fortunately, wasn't um, too resistant to solving it a little bit more quickly today. 
And we had a very nice theme, a theme that sort of slowly came together. I didn't even (laughs) fully realize as it was happening um, because some of these I simply solved as ordinary clues. Oh, right. I hadn't, I don't remember even noticing that this was highlighting so many other clues at the time. So, right. I didn't really notice the theme coming together until it was mainly assembled. But we have uh, Polyphemus, the cave dweller of Greek myth from the Odyssey. Um, also would be known as the Cyclops, who possessed one eye, as does this puzzle, a single eye throughout all of it, clues and all. Uh, Very impressive, very well done by Joseph Gangi. Nice theme. And um, that was The Crossword. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back tomorrow for the Thursday edition of The Daily Solve with what might be a more intricate or surprising or involved theme. We'll have to find out. Do join me then. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Wednesday. Take care. (laughs) 